In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create a client portal from a client portal template. So in this case, I have a deal for the Jones family to go on a trip from Florida to London in September 23. You'll see that I'm using the next step field for the destination, which is London, United Kingdom. And I'm using the closing date as their date of travel. So it's as simple as clicking create portal. And now we choose which template. So in this case, we have Peter and Mary Jones. So I'm going to use the trip preparation portal for two guests for deal name. Now I'm going to select the main portal person, which in this case will be Peter Jones in our contact name field. And here I can see a preview of what the portal is going to contain. So it's going to contain the travel preferences form, the travel documents for guest two and the travel documents for guest one. It's going to be sent from our organization email address, which is info at zeportal.net. It's going to have 24 hours between chase emails, and it's going to be saved to the default parent folder, and it's in the deals module. So now we click create, and there we go, the portal's being created. So here we can see that the portal has been created, and if we look here, this will take a couple of seconds to update, probably 30 seconds. So once we refresh our record, we'll be able to see the portal here. There we go. So now we can click here to see the various items. We can either cancel items or we can update each individual item. You'll see the name here has been filled in from the merge tag. We can also add new items if we want to, and we can use our merge tags here again if we want to, but we won't add any more items this time. So we can modify the whole portal if we want to change the message that shows to the client over here. And if we wanted to, we could also change the email address that we send from. But again, we won't change anything. So now if we go to view the portal as the client, so when they receive our email, this is what they'll load up. And this is all completely customizable and comes through from our template. And you can see we've pulled in the destination and we've pulled in the travel date. Now here are the items. So you'll see we can click on here and it shows us the guidance. Again, this is fully customizable and comes from the template. So now we can click here, upload the passport and click submit. Now the portal will reload and we can see that the passport has been received and is in the pending review stage. We can also attach the passport for guest two and now that has been received. You'll see here as well that we load in the invoices and signature requests. So this is an invoice that belongs to the account for the deal. So any invoices that are linked to this account would show here. And we also have an outstanding signature request for Peter Jones. So if he hasn't received our email for this, he can click this button to get sent another reminder email. And from that reminder email from Zoho Sign, he'll be able to sign that document. Once the document's signed, he'll be able to download a signed copy of it below. All right, so now that we've submitted the two documents, we won't submit the form just yet. Let's go to the system and see what it looks like from our perspective when we need to deal with these items. So firstly, I've got this dashboard item set up. So it shows me a list of the items that require review. If I click on the item, I can go here to process the portal response. I can also do that from directly within the deal. So here I can see the passport has been submitted. I can see that it's for Peter Jones. So I'm going to accept that. So here's the travel documents for guest two. Now in this case, I'm going to reject it. So you can see what that's like. So I'll just say does not meet document guidance. So that's all of the documents done for this deal. So it takes us back to their portal. So now we can see that the next chase is one hour from now. So that means if we had received 10 documents from Peter Jones and we were going through and rejecting some and accepting some, we don't want to send Peter Jones an email every time we reject an item. So we wait to send our next chase email for one hour after we've processed the documents. So if we reject several things, he'll only receive one email and then he'll be able to go in and deal with that. Now, an hour after I rejected those documents, this email was sent. So as you can see, it's got our company logo here, which we set in the portal settings, and then it has our email message. Now this is all completely customizable by you, and you can edit this by just editing the standard email template inside Zoho CRM, the same way you would edit any other email template. Now, when the customer receives this and clicks on the link, it takes them back to their portal. Their portal will load up and it'll show them that one of the items has been rejected. So what we can do now is we can click in here, we can add another file, and we can submit that. Finally, we can submit the travel preferences form. You'll note that the travel preferences form has been pre-filled using all the URL parameters that were set using the merge tags 
in the portal template. So in this case, I've just got an application form. But if this really was a travel company, I would have questions on here about likes and dislikes, maybe food allergens, etc. Now, the way I have my form set up is that the client can update this and then it'll update the CRM. So if I put this as 200 Second Street and United States and click Submit, it'll take me back to the portal as the client, of course. And then I can see here, there are no further actions for me as the client to take at this point because I have had my travel document completed and I've submitted this and it's pending review and I've submitted this and it's pending review. I can still access my invoices and I can still see my Zoho sign requests. So if we close out of this as the client and we refresh the portal inside the CRM, we can now go back to the deal and we can process the responses. We can see here that we have these two responses. We also have a widget on our home screen, which shows us the items that need action. All right, so I'm going to process the documents. I can see here that previously they provided one that didn't meet our criteria, but this time I can accept it. And I can see that they filled out the form and I can also see the URL parameters that we set in the previous form. So I can accept that and submit. And that's it. The portal is now complete and the next chase date has been removed. So this client will not be chased anymore. If the client returns to their portal now, this is what they'll see. Everything is complete. Now, on our website, we've got subscriber help. And then under here, we've got installation and setup support and customization. You'll note here that we give information on template customization and custom functions. Now here, we provide the code for you to have custom functions to automatically create this portal so that it can be done from a workflow or a blueprint. And we also give you the code to automatically add items. So for example, if in the form that you ask the client to fill out, you want to request additional items based on their responses, you would just set up a workflow that watches the CRM record for changes. And when those particular changes come in, you would run this script and create the new item however you would like. And it'll be added to the portal the portal would be updated and the client would be automatically chased again. The system is very flexible, so you can make as many changes as you want to to it, and it gives you the option to be completely customized for your business needs. To find out more or to sign up for a free trial, please visit zeportal.net. Thank you.